We're not tired. Lie on the line, man. That man is jump now. I'm so jump now. That man is so jump now. Wow. Incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. Um, I thank you guys so much. Really, really good stuff. All right, we move on. Her pieces have piqued the interest of collectors from all over. Um, she sells uh, work, uh, works as far as Germany, exhibited in Canada, United States. She was recently selected to represent Jamaica in Russia in the field of arts and culture during the World Youth Festival and uh, met Vladimir Putin personally. Didn't you? Yes, I did. And it's Crystal Ball. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Congrats on all what I just said. Does he speak English? He does, but not really on TV. Uh, yeah, so he, there was a translator the entire time. Yeah. Let me start there. How did that come about? Uh, who selected you to go to Russia uh, and for what? I honestly don't know, but it's based off of um, achievements. So they choose the best of who applies. And I applied for the program and I went. I didn't expect to meet the president, but... Yeah, the program was what? Um, it was the World Youth Festival, so 98 countries from across the world came together for this youth festival and it was supposed to promote unity and um, just opportunities. It was an interesting mix to get people to know each other and to appreciate other Fantastic. cultures. Fantastic. How was it? It was, um, it was amazing. What was Russia like? Russia was awesome. It was, um, I went there with an open mind because you hear all the rumors, but when I got there it was really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Any, any similarities to, to Yes, the people there are a lot like the people here, where they come off aggressive, but they're actually not. So, yeah. yeah well, we come off aggressive, and we actually are. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic stuff. And you're coming from wearing big boots. You worked on a ship. Yes. Or a stevedore. Yes, I used to work down by the wharf. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Tell me where the art started. Um, the art started when I was really young. Uh, it was just a way, well, I was in and out of the hospital a lot, so it was a way to pass time and to keep myself active. Plus, I just always had a love for it. Can you share why you were in and out of hospital a lot? I had asthma, really okay. bad asthma. I was one of those kids where you couldn't play with because, yeah. You kind of okay now? Or you... No, I'm good now. You're good now. For the most part. <laughs> um... So... Interesting stuff. Thank you. Interesting stuff. So talk to me. Let's let's start over this this big one right here. All right, that the big inspiration one. Inspiration of what it is and who it is and, and why it is. Okay. Well, that one is just uh, a representation of me coming to myself um, and appreciating myself as an artist. You know, a lot of. Um, Kids, they, they get told, you know, art isn't the best thing. Why don't you find a, like, a regular job and you're going to starve to death? So um, me deciding that I want to be an artist was a big step. Uh, and I just wanted to represent that. I wanted to show that confidence. I wanted to, you know, bloom. And yeah. that's what this painting is about. How long would something like this take you to do? Mm, it would take me nonstop, about a week. About a week. Yeah. Non stop is what? Non stop is, is that like five all hours, the time. Like five hours yeah. a day, six hours a day? Eight hours I tend to. Speak. Eight hours, yes. ten hours. This is just from your head, or is this a picture no, this that you looked at? From, and... All right, so there is a model, Chantal Jackson, yeah. and I decided that I love her face. Love her face. Right. She's so black and beautiful and. So it is her picture and then everything else I wrote okay. it This was. one kind of self-explanatory. Yes, but there's an interesting story behind this Please painting. Please share with us. This painting got lost. It got lost. Yes. So while I was in Russia, I took it, I traveled with it because it's a good representation of my culture. And um, when I went to Russia, I brought it with me. And then when I got to Cuba from Russia, I was told that my luggage was lost. Nobody knew where it was. And it went to St. Petersburg, it went to Moscow. I didn't go to these places. And then it eventually ended up in Cuba after I left. And then it went to Panama. And then I finally got it back. And it was soaking wet because the entire suitcase was wet. 
and I had to resurrect it and here it is so today. So you had to do it over, you just dry I, it or what? No, I had to dry it one and just um, reapply some paint. Yeah. You already so said it, it has something to do with our culture. Um, yes. and, but why would you want to, to paint? this particular something like this uh, i just i just well i love food <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good enough for you. that that and also i believe that um it's a big part of our culture food okay. is a big part of yeah, our culture is. and also because when you leave the dance or you leave your party most people yeah. just end up going up right, so i want to get man. to your exhibition this is the final one we're going to look at and talk about tell me explain this one to me now it's the same, it's, um, all right, this one is a bit touchy. So I try to talk about things also that bother um, the young community. This one is entitled The Millennials, and it's about the fact that a lot of um, baby boomers have this uh, misconception about millennials. They're lazy, they're not doing anything. They cause businesses to collapse. And that type of thing. So I wanted to illustrate that, like still having hope in yeah. the midst of all of that. I can't imagine while you were speaking, some some people might be saying true, but <laughs> <laughs> true. Yeah. Your exhibition starts on Sunday. Yes. Runs for a couple of weeks. Yes, it runs for months. And it's more of what we just saw, or yes. it is a lot of um, art like that. How there is an interesting mix. Um, there will be seventeen pieces. Yeah, that one is interesting. Oh, thank you. And, and these would be on, on show? Yes, they will be. 17 pieces? 17. Runs for a, a, a couple of weeks? It runs for a month. Um, okay. Where is it going to be? It's at Studio 174. Uh, and that's Harbour Street, that's downtown. Yes. Yeah, there you go, Studio 174. And it's, it's also to resurrect downtown because it's, it's an entire art walk. Mm -hmm. So it's not just me, there are five other places that you can visit. There's going to be food and drinks and the whole shebang. Yeah. So, yeah. so I guess you've put together all the pieces because it's Sunday, so you're not going to paint nothing up. No, I'm not going to paint. I'm going to sleep. So you're not going to paint like me and Simon? Nothing? Yeah? Mm, no. You have the interesting <laughs> topics. You'd have to get so much money. You'd have to, what? You'd have to hide. Fantastic stuff. Congrats on what you've done so far. Thank I you. Wish you all the very, very best. You're, you're, the exhibition, you can buy stuff at the exhibition? Yes. You can? Yes. How much would something like, say that big for that? Never, please don't ask me that on national TV. <laughs> Why not? So you don't plan to sell it? Yeah, some... yeah, yeah. Yeah, give me an Art. idea. Um, painting starts at about 30,000 mm -hmm. and can go upwards to 150, depending on the size. Right. Okay, there you go. So, we'll start you out right away. We'll sell all 17. <laughs> come back. Thank so. you, thank you. Good to see you. Congrats again. Right. Visual artist, Crystal Ball. Up next, the significance of Africa Day. Stay with us, please. Soon come.